Today I'm taking the Adidas Pulse Boost HD Winter out in temperatures cold enough to make my eyelashes freeze. Ten point five eight miles, nine minutes, twenty three seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty nine beats per minute out there in some really cold temperatures. Running in eastern Iowa and my in laws' house, uh, temperatures were five degrees Fahrenheit or negative fifteen degrees Celsius. The time I started the run out there today, it was really cold, and what a perfect time to take a look at the Adidas Pulse Boost HD Winter and see how it does in cold conditions. Now, before I get into my detailed thoughts about this shoe in the cold, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought with my own money. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video or to wear the shoe. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of this footage before it goes up on YouTube. Now, with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about how the Adidas Pulse Boost HD Winter does in really cold conditions. Now, for this run, I knew it would be cold. I didn't know it was going to be quite that cold. So it was a little bit of a surprise how cold it was going to be on this particular day. Um, but I did know it was going to be cold. And so I brought my, you know, my hat, uh, my uh, neck thingy to, to cover my face and my neck. I had a long sleeve and I also put a short sleeve on on top of that long sleeve. And all that was under my jacket. Uh, I've been running in a Kraft uh, winterized jacket, which I've just been absolutely loving. Uh, and then I had long pants and then uh, really tall winter wool running socks. Actually, they're... They're ski socks. They're made by Darn Tough, which is a company uh, that makes their socks in the US. They're based out of Vermont. They make fantastic socks. Uh, these were uh, like almost to the knee high socks, really warm. Uh, and uh, they were actually made for skiers. And so I figured that's probably a pretty good thing. Uh, someone that's gonna be active moving around inside a ski boot, worried about things like chafing, rubbing, uh, blistering, uh, but also probably spending hours outside. So I thought that would be good. And I've been loving that particular pair of socks. And then uh, for gloves, I had my craft mittens and also uh, hand warmers inside those. And then for the shoes, I had the ADD's Pulse Boost HD Winter on. Now at this temperature, five degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, I normally would limit like my outside exposure time to about one hour. Fortunately, on this particular day, there was no wind at all, so temperatures are a little bit more bearable. Uh, so I was out there for about an hour and 40, hour 45 minutes uh, on, on this particular day, and it was cold. Now, I'll, I'm usually the first one to get cold and the last one to warm back up, um, just to kind of give you an idea of my gauge when I say something is cold. I, I, I'm almost always cold. But uh, today, on today's run, when I was out there, uh, the temperatures are cold enough that your eyelashes, they start to get gummy after about 10 minutes. Um, and, and I think what what is happening is it's the... Not so much that the eyelashes are freezing, it's that like the heat that you're blowing out as you're breathing out uh, is like condensating on your eyelashes and then, uh, or at least just more humid than the rest of everything around you. And so uh, that's how the, the eyelashes freeze. Either that or like the blinking applies moisture to your eyeballs and then that uh, is what that moisture that's in that area is what's freezing. I'm not sure why, but eyelashes freeze at a certain temperature. At that temperature, uh, my feet felt pretty good. The first 15, maybe 20 minutes though, uh, my feet were very cold. Uh, almost a little bit on the, like, oh, if this keeps up, they're gonna get numb kind of thing. Fortunately, after about the 20 minute mark, uh, my feet kind of warmed up and everything felt fine. The only things that were cold for me the entire run you know, other than my eyelashes, my eye, my eyelashes, the little part of skin that's actually showing on my face, that was certainly, it was cold. 
Um, but it was my hands that were really having a hard time staying warm. Um, part of that is because uh, the GoPro died and what I tried to do is take the battery out and keep the battery in one of my mittens and use the hand warmer and my hand to keep the battery warm so that way I can warm it up and get more footage. I ran with the battery in my mitten for like an hour, uh, maybe 50 minutes and it still didn't warm up. So like not a ton of footage from today, but even in the glove that didn't have the the battery in it i just have a hard time keeping my hands warm today so it was a bit of a struggle out there but got the run in i actually had a pretty good time running out there uh just some actual beautiful scenery seeing rural eastern iowa in the winter time like that is just absolutely amazing although it was cold Another test that I did uh, with this shoe was the day before. So I only brought one pair of running shoes with me. I only brought one pair of shoes with me the entire weekend. And the day before that, it was a lot warmer. It was about 25 degrees or so, about negative four degrees Celsius on Saturday. And for Saturday's run, it was windier. It was maybe 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, um, but it was warmer. And I was out there for over three hours. It was a 20 mile, 21 mile run on my Saturday run. I had a pretty good run out there on that day. I had some uh, mile intervals in there and felt really good. Really enjoyed running in the Pulse Boost HD Winter in that temperature as well. For that run, about 10 minutes, uh, maybe 15 minutes. My feet were cold, but for the rest of the run, things were absolutely fine. So uh, even though the material on this shoe seems really thin and doesn't seem like there's like a lot here there's not a lot of padding along the sides of the feet or in the heel cup and the material doesn't seem very thick it did a, did a decent enough job keeping the cold out or at least keeping wind out to the extent they experienced wind on that saturday run uh and so for cold weather temperatures it gets a thumbs up so far uh, i still haven't had a chance to get it in some really nasty snowy wet conditions so i'm probably going to save the shoe for until i could get to some conditions like that uh, and so i don't know when that's going to happen because uh, i can't predict the weather and so i wanted to make sure i at least got an update to you guys today about the cold weather performance because it did get just unusually cold very quickly uh, when we were back uh, in Iowa over the weekend. But um, let me know if you have any more questions about the Adidas Pulse Boost HD Winter or how it did in the cold or how it did on the intervals. It did really, really well. Very surprised by it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys a little bit about it more down there. Uh, before I go, I want to remind you about the new charity runner that we have for this week. This week, it's Melissa Sawyer, who's going to be running the Museum of Aviation Half Marathon uh, coming up in January. And she's doing it to raise money for the Epilepsy Foundation. Uh, I was very happy to donate $7 to Melissa's fundraising efforts. And I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. And I will see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?